Straight back to business yeah. then, is it, Mox? Carry on and off the pitch. See you later. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Do or Die Horn Hawks. Um, I've got a little bit of a tickly cough, so I'm going to be doing a COVID test straight after I got off this. So if this episode ends 20 seconds in, you know what's happened basically. Um, we're playing Riverside Rovers today, if I make it. And last time we played them, we won 5-3. It's the most goals we've conceded in the game, actually. Um, joint with the game we drew with South City 3-3. Uh, I'm expecting a big game. Up the Hawks, up the Hawks, and up the bloody Hawks. I've got to get home. Don't give me rubbing here. Yeah, like yeah, like 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 How's the collarbone? Good, mate. Two weeks, Two weeks? So you haven't even broken it, basically? Fractured, mate, but it's not a problem. Fractured? I thought you said six to eight weeks before. It is, but when you see Brad playing right mid, you know you've got to come back. You know you've got to come back. Joel, are you reffing? Again? Yeah, we're going to go grab the other rep. Okay, okay. Oh, All right. At least for some reason I've got my bank card and I have no idea. You're captain again, or you got the armband? Oh, yeah. I've not, I've not got my, Are you putting the armband on him now, or what? I lost my license about a year ago. Marcus, I've still not got a oh, we're making a thing out of this, are we? Yeah. Why does Kieran look after the armband but give it to you? Oh, you choose every week? Yeah. Nice. That's right. You're in thin ice. I know. <laughs> How's the hangover, Harry? Feeling a bit better yet? Not particularly, but you know, I've not been sick yet, so it's fine. League won't let him change as well. Hmm? League won't let him change to us. Give us a blow on that whistle then, will you? Well, no, because then I'm going to do it. No, because that will get them in. Oh my god, he's a monster. Wait, can you give us anything on the carnival situation? Was that your fault or my fault? Oh, uh, I don't care. Don't care. As long as we play the game. Or well, are you going to talk to us about whether you're going to end the goal drought today or not? I don't, want to, I don't want to jinx it. When was the last time I scored? He was getting so cocky as well. I remember one week yeah, he was yeah, sat there yeah. being like, yeah. I don't need to come here. I've got things I can do instead because he'd scored a few goals. Yeah, that's because you were disrespecting me. Uh, I need a goal today. Today I need a goal. I don't yeah, know Mark, if it'll come. Mark. So you woke up this morning, you thought you missed the game. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was going to be a 10.30 kick-off. What, uh, what did you text me at 10.34? I've had a mayor, <laughs> or something like that. As I've if you thought I wouldn't no, have even called you. Genuinely, my alarm went off and I thought I've, I've had an absolute stinker. <laughs> I, put it, I put it on silent a couple of times, then woke up at half ten. I was hyperventilating, mate. thought I was going to lose my job. Um, and yeah, then realised 12 o'clock kick-off. I mean, 15 minutes late, but that's fine. Boys are warmed up. Job done. Job done. Know. You haven't got the notepad, so all the taxi are out of the window. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. All it's all up here, lads. It's all up here. Don't you worry about that. That's what worries us. <laughs> <laughs> you got a joke on mitts, haven't you? Go on there, kids. Kick us off with some beautiful insight. God, where do I start? <laughs> yeah. where, where do I start? Um, no, uh, we obviously we we come full circle a little bit. We have played all the teams that we. Uh, we, we thought we're gonna wait. Well, I was gonna <laughs> get to that, sir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we played all the teams that were gonna be a challenge to us. I think A and R are not sure they're, they're much of an outfit, worst so uh, we're still yet huh? worst what? team in the league. Worst team in the league, there we go. So we're yet to play them, but I don't think they're gonna be much of a challenge. So it's come full circle a little bit. We've played these lads before. I think we what was it? Was it five, three, three, three. five three, three, five three. three. We're way, we're way, way, way better than we were. Though, yeah, so exactly. Um, Especially on this pitch, it's a wider pitch. Yeah, so yeah exactly. Let's yeah. have a look at what options we got each side yeah. and actually play it before yeah. we have someone just straight your head up. Just yeah. uh, you need <laughs> to get your head up for, for just a second, but just uh, you, the wide players are going to be out wide. They're, they're going to be in space. Just get your head up for yeah, one we'll second. Get loads of space boys. Let, let, let's be a tiny bit brave this week. I.e., if we get a chance to play a forty-yard diagonal, let's just try it this week. Yeah, let's just try Absolutely. it a few times. If it's not working, then let's get the ball down. But let's we see someone on the opposite side of the pitch. Try it. No one's going to have a go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're playing Derby. <laughs> 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 well, um, and lads, for, for the first time, we've uh, we've now got a uh, bit of a target man up top in Harry Barry. Yes, don't get me wrong, he's absolutely fucked this morning. But 
<laughs> he's, 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 he's still he's still absolutely massive so we can we, we, we can ping some balls up top we can go uh, a little bit more aerial with it so you know little and large up top tom bowden zipping in behind yeah oh yeah yeah and everyone look after each other talk to each other keep the communication back line keep an eye if we need to move further up the pitch especially against these if we move 20 yards further up the pitch they'll drop for like 20 30 yards deeper and we're just being, being the game more yeah. Yeah. i think also boys um try and think about your position today and really hold it down because we're going to have a lot of space and if we manage the whole like let's not try and get too compact in certain areas let's think about where especially when we're about to win the ball back think about your position and try and use the space and um, we we'll definitely create a lot of chances today. Field day then, yeah, just think where, think where you are. Like, if you're in the middle, you know, just like both, both get to left and right sides and try and spread the ball. We're gonna have loads of time on the ball if we do that. On top of that as well, yeah. Try when we got the ball, be as wide as possible. <coughs> then, yeah. When we haven't got the ball, that's when we can be compact. Yeah, yeah. yeah and just, just think just about it as well. Talk to just each Just pass other the ball. It. Just pass the ball. We've got so much space. Just pass the ball and then yeah, move. Simple yeah. as that. And make sure everyone's not running away. Someone dropping, give them an option. We just want to keep hold of the ball much better today and uh, dictate the game. That's it, really. And discipline as well. Respect. Like, respect the other team. Respect Joel. And let's respect each other on the pitch as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> right, lads. Let's go. Let's get the yeah. Actually, take that bit about Joel out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're only 10 episodes in, um, including the cup, and I've realised I've never shown you the league table. So, uh, here it is. We're at the top, as you knew anyway. I'm beaten as well. But just to give you a rough feel, we're playing Riverside today. As you can see, they're sixth in the league. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of context. And come on, you know. It's time to look at the Hawks lineup. Um, again, we've still got a load of injuries. It's, that's not going to change. I'm going to stop saying that every week. We've got Sam in goal. Uh, he's had a couple of clean sheets at this point in the season, so maybe he's backing himself to get another one. Mark Barrett returns in defence, Mark Richards partners him, and then you've got Hamish Simmons and Harry Mulcahy in the fullback positions. Across the midfield, you've got your second Barrett, Charlie Barrett on the left, Jack Ormston, Dan Loughton in the centre, and Brad Thomas on the right. Up top, your third Barrett, Harry Barrett, leading the line next to Tom Bowden. Uh, Tom Bowden having a bit of a stinker at the moment, but we won't talk about that too much. Hawks looking to keep up the form, really. We, we've had a few wobbles so far, but... Nothing too major at this point, and uh, it's probably largely due to the quality we have on the bench, maybe. Uh, George Leahy on the bench, Matt Williams on the bench, and I, I, I need to remove myself. This is the last week I'll be on there. And there he is. I'd love to get a different graphic for him, but this is perfect, isn't it? Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Do or Die Horn Hawks. Um, today the Hawks have got our first reverse fixture. We're playing Riverside Rovers at home. Um, as you heard, we kind of got final home pitch from the carnival, but we lose start nice and early, and uh, Brad Thomas gets a chance getting through, but just about that with by the keeper there. Keep progressing along nicely. There's a lovely ball over the top by Hamish Simmons. And Tom Bannon's on the end of that. Knocks around the keeper. So in there. Absolutely. Keeper's giving it a lot of that, but uh, I mean he's always going to call for it. But that, that's that's a clear penalty. Mark with a big opportunity to put the Hawks in the front nice and early in the game. Steps up to the mark. You just knew that was We are so bad. Again, Hawks working hard. Hamish puts a decent ball across the box. Tom Bowden to finish it. And it's just not happening. Yeah, he should come off of that. I need a goal today. I need a goal. Again, Riverside come forward with some real intent, and uh, it's decent ball in 17. He's picked out number 13, he's going through, and it's a great finish, that unbelievable finish. Challenge was a bit late as well, I think they had a penalty at night. <laughs> Again, Riverside really being aggressive here. Take it off your old man. Uh, it's a soft foul, but I guess he's been boxed out by a few too many of our players there. Decent effort, safe hands by Sam, never really causing too much of a problem there. Uh, huge kick from the, the goalie going through. And, um, decent little flick on there, and uh, just like that, we've side through on goal, and Sam's been rounded. Looks like he's hit the outside of the post there. Oh, oh, oh. A few calls for handball though, it didn't look like it could have been handball. 
Now going to the box. Top Adam fluffs it. Charlie Barrett. Oh. Rip side again coming forward. A brilliant tackle by Dan Lamb. Great play up there. And number nine looks like a, a second take. Exactly. There you go. Jack Ormy's threaded through Brad Thomas. This is a real opportunity. Just got to keep his head low and hard. Again, we're spoddering all these chances. We're, we're asking to be punished here. Ripside actually out battling the horse in midfield, which is unusual. He's the ball through to their number nine. Our goal is committed and... There's not really much you can say about that. They're taking the opportunities, we're not. Oh, 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 oh. He's just slotted ball through again and they've got another chance here, Ripside. Just like that, it's 3 0. It's actually a joke. Horses at sixes and sevens are uh, not really used to this, are we? Mark Barrett's got hold of the ball here. Oh, that's not a very nice challenge. And uh, Charlie's not taking kindly to that. To be fair, this is old man, you know. It was a bad foul. You don't jump in on that like uh, like that on a 50 year old. It's not really ideal. Charlie's really not happy with this. There seems to be too much happening. A little bit of handbags. It's good. Our manager's gone over and the bloke with a broken collarbone just to see if they can tidy things out a bit. Of unrest. Ripside Rovers kind of dilly dallying on the ball here a bit and Harry's putting a strong That's challenge. Um, Resulted in a little bit of uh, frustration for both sides. I mean, we agreed to call it half time there. <laughs> just it wasn't really going the right way. Yeah. I let half the team just stand there. You fucking all got on my back. All of you. Fucking trying to bury me last week and fair enough. But I yeah. want to see the same fucking attitude on the pitch, boys. Because that's where you want to fucking put it in. <clears throat> that's the difference. That's what wins your football games. The passion, want it. But when somebody does that to one of your teammates, it doesn't matter who it is, you get up and you fucking go and you go and fucking confront them for it. Because you can't let them walk all over you like that. It's disgusting. I'll, 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 let's just channel it in the right fucking yeah. places. Yeah. Is that, that's you what know, I'm trying we, to say. We, we should be, oh. we, you know, crazy enough. We fucking, we should be at least fucking drawing this fucking yeah. half, shouldn't we? So we've had enough chances. You know, we've had the chances. Yeah. We have more chances. Yeah, get back to playing yeah. yeah. fucking football, lads. Because yeah, 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 at, yeah. at this point now, you're just trying to fucking injure everyone. And we're not going to win like that, are we? We're 3-0 no, down, down, down for fuck's sake. We play three, 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 three centre three. midfielders. Is, we don't fuck around. Is Harry playing at the back? Yeah, leave Harry at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, What's going on at the back? Yeah, yeah. Do you put Mark out right? Yeah, Harry we, in the back. We'll keep, Mark. Yeah, we're going to have to keep, we're gonna have to keep yeah. Harry at the back. Who's the middle three? Jack, Dan. Jack, Dan, Hamish. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Three in the field. Need goals, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side so start off the second half defending and uh, Charlie Rips a really decent shot in there. That's good save by the keeper. Rips side again playing some nice football and it's another brilliant ball through. Their number nine's in and uh, again we're asking for trouble. It's really nil down. We can't really be forward to play like this. Let's play a quick free kick. Uh, Jack Hawley on the edge of the box. Whips one in. Not sure that should be getting through the keeper, but that's 3 1. A little bit of a consolation you feel. Huge challenge from Harry Barrett. It's all ball row. He needs to get his head up now. Decent ball across box and that is a hand ball. It's right on the edge of the box. I'd like to see that back, see if it was actually in the box. No one seems to be complaining. Free kick now from Charlie Barrett, and it oh, whistled wide of the post. It's close, that one. Long ball by the Hawks, and Jack Horner's put the burners on. Knocks it one side of the keeper. Looks like he's got to score it. And just like that, it's 3-2. They're playing awfully today, but um, if you've got Jack Horner in the team, you'll find you a few goals every week. Some unorthodox defending here by Riverside. And that could result in uh, maybe the best known goal I've ever seen. They are freaking out. 
Jack Ball with a quick free kick. Not so back post. Harry Barrett wins that. Mark Richards gets in there. It's another goal for our centre back. 3 3. Dog's back in the game. What a abysmal performance. The Lino bloody loves it. Some of that. Jack Ormy now starting to control the game. One's a decent ball through to Brad Thomas, who looks like he's in on goal. Good defending by the Riverside defender. Can't do much about that. Riverside now having their turn to attack, and uh, Jesus Christ, from about 25 yards out, you, um, from where I was at, I thought that was going in. Getting hooked uh, in Harry Mulcahy, finding a little bit of space. Decent ball across the box. Crikey, both of them gone up for that. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a corner, but um, you'd rather both of them go for it than neither of them, but not ideal. Brad Thomas looks like he needs a stretcher. Decent ball into the box. Charlie Barrett's in there. That's 4-3. Would you believe it? The turner, and he bloody loves it. <laughs> Kieran Pragnall. Good one. Oh, there goes the lino as well. Lovely hell. Quality turnaround from the lads, though. That's real character. Walks down, they take the lead. Uh, seems to be pretty relaxed here. Jack Ball was driving at the defence. Just a couple of shots there, but there's a couple of players screaming for it. He's going alone. That's a tricky one for the keeper. He's giving it the shush. He's giving it the shush again. Taking a slight deflection on the way to the keeper and he's just not managed to readjust himself quick enough, but... Oh, it's a little bit of a, a late challenge, but... It's nothing too nasty, but see if Charlie Barrett's come off worse here, and uh, it's likely going to go great, to be honest. Honestly, we don't need any more injuries at this point. We've got five or six players now out of the bloody bang. bloody broken ankles, bald calves. So it's no good for us. Mark Richards throws in a tackle, but doesn't quite manage to get the ball. Bounce around in the box, Harry Barrett picks it up, and... Uh, that's about the end of the game. What a turnaround by the Hawks. Um, honestly, I don't understand how Riverside are where they are in the league. They're, both times we've played them, it's been 5 3, and um, they've given us some of the best games we've had this year. How about that, mate? Fucking hell. Yes. Yes. Uh, what was, where's that from then? Who knows, mate? Not yours. Well played, mate. Well played. Don't worry about that. Oh, fuck yeah. That's not the worst. That's not Oh, we love conceding three against this mob. Look, yeah, that's going for him. There's, there's a it's few hard, things, man. but first off, when we talk about character, that, that was it. That was it. The, the first half, we were appalling and we made it hard work for ourselves, but that second half, it's just yeah. so good. And, and we weren't good today. Like We didn't look great on the ball, but bloody hell, we grinded out. There's some unbelievable performances in amongst it. Yeah. I think, to be honest, just not, not to take the steam out of us, a few of us didn't turn up in the first half, but in the second half, yeah. we all started looking at it. We just got to make sure. This is what we're talking about in training. Literally, just to make sure we're all out from the get-go. But it's just as a team, it was just it was spot on. It's beautiful to watch, and I think everyone watching loved it. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. No, I don't want us to go three 0 down. But I'll be last every week. That's getting some hands. Yeah. Love it. Five three, a repeater last time. It was absolutely fantastic, and yeah, it was getting scrappy. It was getting aggressive in the first half, but that was a prime example of using it constructively in the yes, second half. Absolutely. We didn't fly into reckless well. challenges, we didn't lose our heads, we used it. Yeah. We used that fight in the second half and that's why we won the in game. The second it, was, that's it, why it, was, it was a white balance. Yeah. We, we concentrated on ourselves instead of trying to... We weren't trying to fight people. We just ignored them, played yeah, our own yeah, game. Yeah. Sorry, well, that's why we scored. Well. We used it 
against, not against them, but yeah. against them. You know, we yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. take 100%. it out on them, but we used it yeah. to, to win the game. I think also going forward, I think free in midfield is really helpful. I think that, that is actually yeah, a big yeah, part of why we turn it around. What an improvement. Can I not yeah, play we... up front anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not going to play <laughs> up front anymore. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> free in the midfield is... Yeah, yeah. It was really awesome. I, 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 I think, I think that's the one thing we've got to adapt more when yeah. we're seeing things happen in games. Yeah. We were so slow to do it. Like we, There was a massive gap in that midfield, we can see it. Yeah. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but even on the pitch, if we're seeing something, we need to be talking about it and sorting yeah, it out. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, it was so good. I think it's really important to note as well that the turnaround's got nothing to do with me going off after the <laughs> 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 Definitely yeah. not, mate. Definitely not. <laughs> well, um, Honourable mention to Jack Ormiston for his fantastic hey. performance. But, uh, but, but, but the man of the match <laughs> is going to Charlie Barrett for this. Oh, yeah. 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 Part of the lion. Well, and, 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 and look, off the back of last week, it's worth saying, like, that is, that is spot on. Like, that's the right energy. We yeah, all need yeah. to be in it together. It was completely constructive. It was right. Last week it was wrong. But let's just try and keep on the same track. It was unbelievable. None of us argued with each other, did we? No, we that's all talk, we all supported it. And we all listen. We understand. Nobody wants to see Donks get a fucking landed one on by one of their team. But look, it's, once it's done, it's done. As long as he's not broken his leg or in a really bad way, let's focus on ourselves. The aggression was there. We turned the game around. It was just second half. It was so good. And I know everyone comes in half time pissed off as well. Because I know you had low say. I know you had low say. I know everyone did. But we just got to remember, like Dan said, it's about us. It's not about the other team. We can go and fight them, but if we went and fight them in that second half, we wouldn't have got the goals. Nah, no, it's, so, it's such good character showing, boys. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I was trying to say. Get that energy on the pitch, and let's yeah. fucking work as a team. Yeah, it's yeah. just so much better. I'm so, I'm so impressed with everyone. That second half yeah, was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, be proud of yourselves. Did you not get the trophy? Yeah. No, obviously it's in my fucking bag. Fucking yeah. piss. <laughs> well, you fucking piss. Get out of that room. You feel a little bit robbed not getting man of the match again. A little bit. He just said he's, he's got, got five, five goal contributions. Back to back weeks. Mate, you can't, you can't win. You can't win every... Charles was unbelievable yeah, was today, was he not? He was class. Part of being a team. Yeah, when a hat trick or two assists don't get The nasty side of questions. managing. What, what are you saying about the changes on, you made at half time that won us the game? He made that all the players said I should make it. Oh, um, <laughs> my God. Jack yeah, told no. you he was playing up front. Look, I listen to my players. I've got no ego. So when they yeah. tell me. They you actually play. don't have an ego I at all. I don't have an ego at all. When they say they want three in midfield, I'll put three in midfield. Simple. Vis a vis, we win. Vis a vis. Just a little bit about how crap you are yeah, now. I got put into midfield and I did a shift. You did a good job, actually. But up front, my days are over. Don't, what, don't what, put me there. What, what are you doing to change things in the next few weeks? That's what we want to know. Um, like next that, that chance, I'm blaming a bobble. If you didn't see the bobble, then you weren't watching closely enough. Well, the camera would have got that. Yeah, so well, let's, let's zoom see. in on it, please, because that was going it. in. Bloody hell. Um, wow. I mean, when you talk about character, desire, belief... You go 3-0 down in the first half and, uh, and and you pull that out of the bag. It's unbelievable. What a week of football. Um, there were some big problems in there. First half, we were shocking. Um, and it's becoming a real problem that all the lads are out till quarter past four every Saturday night, drinking themselves away and then turn up on a, on a Sunday looking half cut. Um, but we're never going to change that, unfortunately. I say unfortunately. Um, look, it's another massive three points from, for the Hawks. Um, I do not understand how Riverside are where they are in the league. Both times we played them, they've given us an unbelievable game. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's one of those bizarre ones which just leaves you scratching your head, but maybe they're our, our bogey team. I guess everyone has one. I think as well that was one for the spectators. Uh, everyone on the sidelines seemed to love it. I'm hoping you're all going to have enjoyed watching the episode and we come back again next week. Um, anything else I need to say? I mean, there's one thing I forgot to say last week, which I insisted I was going to say this week, and that is, up the Hawks, up the Hawks, and up the bloody Hawks. We win again. We always win.